Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum dear viewers. In today's video, I am about to start Oxford 7th edition New Slavic Mathematics workbook, that is workbook 1. And inshallah, I will be solving every question from this book. And I will be making video on every single question. So if you like the video, you may refer it to your friends or family or whoever you think is in need of this video. So let's begin with the very first question from chapter one of this book. That is about determine whether each of the following is a prime or a composite number. For solving this question, you must know what are prime numbers and what are composite numbers. What do you mean by prime numbers? Prime numbers are the numbers that are divisible only by themselves and by one. C. Apart from these two numbers, that is zero and one, every other number that are only divisible by let's suppose we take two by themselves and one they are considered as prime numbers and all other numbers that are not prime numbers they are basically composite numbers let's suppose we list down the prime numbers less than 10 there will be two there will be 3 because 3 is only divisible by 3 and by 1. What about 4? 4 is divisible by 2. So it cannot be contained in this list. What about 5? Five? 5 is a prime number because 5 is only divisible by itself and by 1. 6 is divisible by 2 and 3, so 6 can be in this list. 7 is divisible by itself and 1. 8 is divisible by 4 and 2, so it can't be in this list. 9 is divisible by 3, so it can't be in this list. So these are the only prime numbers that are less than 10. And all the remaining numbers that are not in this list, that is, 4, that is 6, 8, and 9, these are called composite numbers, right? I hope you got the difference, you understood the difference between prime and composite number. So now we will learn a method how to determine whether any number is a prime number or a composite number. Obviously, if a number is only divisible by itself or by one then it will be called as a prime number and if it is divisible other than by numbers other than one and itself then it will be called a composite number now you can try random prime numbers by your choice but there is also one rule which you can use to solve this question that is you have to look for the nearest perfect square to this number let's suppose the first number is 101 one, this one we will try for this now see first let me erase this okay so now see which is the perfect square that is nearer to 101. Of course, the number that comes to your mind will be 10. 10 squared is 10 multiplied by 10 is 100. That is almost nearer to 101. You can also try for 11. It's better if you take one number greater than the previous one. Like 11 squared is 121 now what you will do is it's up to you whether you take this one or this one I think this one is much better 
So look for the numbers, the prime numbers that are less than 11 and they will be 0 and 1 are of course neither prime nor composite. So there will be 2, there will be 3, 5, 7 and bus. Only these four numbers. Now, how will you check whether 101 is a prime number or is a composite number? If 101 is divisible by any of these four numbers, then you will say it is a composite number. Let's try. 101 divided by 2. It's not possible because at the end of the number, there is a 1. It can't be divided by 2. What about 3? 101 divided by 3. 3, 3 is 9 and 11 is not divisible by 3 so it's not possible. What about 5? 101 can't be divisible by 5 because at the end there is 1. If there was a 0 or 5 it would have been possible but in this case it is not. What about 7? 101 divided by 7. 7, 1 is 7 and 3 1 31 is not divisible by 7 so that means 101 is a prime number why because it is only divisible by 101 itself and by 1 as you checked for the following prime numbers that were less than 11 this is basically the technique you use for greater numbers right so, so in a result, you understood that 101 is not divisible by any of these prime numbers. So it would be a prime number. It's not a composite number, right? Now, let's check for 357. You can pause the video and try by yourself. Okay, 357. Now look for the nearest, nearest square that like uh, let's suppose we check for 20. 20 square is 400, right? 20 multiplied by 20 is 400. What about 19? 19 square check for this 19 square 19 square is 361 what about 18 square 18 square is 324 can decrease the number more what about 17 square 17 squared is 289. So it's better to consider which number which is much nearer to 357 and this one. I already told you you have to choose the number that is basically greater than this number like greater than 357. The square of 19 gives you 361 that is greater than 357. So it's better to consider this number. So now look for the prime numbers that are less than 19. They are list them down. They are 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, and 17, and 19. Okay, these are the numbers. Now you have to check for every number. 2 can't be in this list because 2 can obviously not divide 357. What about 3? Check for 3. 357 divided by 3. 3, 1 is 3. 3, 1 is 3. 3, 9 is 27. That means 3 divides 357. That is some other number 
other than 0 and 1. So that means 357 is a composite number. Right? In this way, you have to check for every number. Now, let's come to 411. Now, look for the nearest squares to 411. Let's suppose we take 20 square. 20 square is 400, right? What about 21 square? 21 square will give you 441. 441. So, it's better to consider 21 square. Now, which number will you consider in this list? The numbers less than 21, right? Now, there will be 19 as well. 23 and then, sorry, less than 23 can't be in this list. It will be till 19. Now, again, you have to check for the divisibility of every number again. So let's try as 2 can't be in this list again. Let's try for 3. For 11 divided by 3. 3, 1 is 3. 3, 1 is 3. 3, 3 is 9. 3, 7 is 21. That means 3 divides this number. So you will consider it as a composite number. Right? I hope you understood the technique to solve this. If you will try, if you will, if you will memorize some of the squares of the numbers, then you can obviously do it. Or if you know the multiplication, you can do it quickly. It's not a big deal. So what about one, two, two? three now this is a greater number so you must guess some numbers that are greater than maybe 30 because you will see 30 square will give you 900 it is much far so you can try for you can try for maybe 35 35 square gives you one two two five so, see, it is like the difference between these two numbers, just two. So, it, you can obviously consider this number. Again, you have to list down the numbers, the prime numbers that are less than, which number? That are less than 35. And when you will check all the numbers, the divisibility of all the prime numbers, in case of 1, 2, 2, 3, you will come to know that no any number less than no any prime number less than 35 divides 1 2 2 3 that means this is basically a prime number right now come to 15 55 now no need no need to do the process as you already know if there is a number like 0, 5, or 2 at the end of any number, those numbers are obviously divisible by 2 and by 5, right? So, no need to check in this case. You can already say that this number is divisible by itself, this number is divisible by 1, and this number is divisible by 5. So, of course, this will be a composite number right now for 3127 you need to check because this is a different number at the end of the number is 7 so you can't exactly say whether it is a prime number or is it a composite number so again you have to look for squares now this is a much greater number so maybe you will try for 50 50 square gives you uh, 5, 5 is 25, 25, 2500, right? It is much far, so better you consider maybe 60 square. 60 square gives you 3600. Now it is much greater, so you have to select a number that is like uh, in between maybe. So what about 56? 
square. What about 56 square? 56 square gives you 3136. Now, this is a more better number, 56. Now, you have to list down all the prime numbers that are less than 56. Okay? You have to list down all the prime numbers that are less than 56. And by doing so, you will come to know that when you list the number, when you divide by the number 53, 53 divides 3127. There is a number 53, which is a prime number in this list that divides 3127 completely. That means this will be a composite number. Now this is your task. You will you will comment it below maybe or if you don't understand this one, the last one, you can comment below to ask how to find it or maybe how you checked it or maybe you can come up with the answer that these numbers divide 3, 1, 2, 7. So this was it for today. I hope you understood today's video. If you like the content, please refer it to your friends, your classmates and your teachers. So many of you can get benefit from this video. So you can also subscribe to my channel. Take care. Love this.